to Elder Wisdom Children's Song here at Sanford Middle School. We're very pleased that all of our guests are here and we're pleased that all of the 6th and 7th grade and Discovery teams are here too. We have had these productions for several years and they've become a part of Sanford and I know that today, like other, other years and other times, you will find the production very enjoyable and also very meaningful. Today we're very fortunate in that we have um, our superintendent of schools, Ms. Bernadia Johnson, or Dr. Bernadia Johnson with us. And she is one of our elders, but we have four wonderful elders, and I know, and I know that all of us will give them our attention, our respect, and our participation. So before we begin, I just want to give a very special thanks to your principal, uh, who's worked for 15 years at Sanford Middle School, 42 years of public education, and this will be your, your last year here, you're retiring. So a round of thanks to Principal Morgan Davis, and I would like to give you Here's a Youth and Elder book just published today by, from students from Elizabeth Hall Elementary School, graphics done by Barton Elementary. You're the first to receive it, so thank you very much. Here's our beloved Superintendent Bernadia Johnson. <laughs> Superintendent of Minneapolis Public Schools, the largest district in the state, born in Soma, Alabama. Back in the days of segregation, Jim Crow, she would travel up in the summertime and visit her grandmother up here in the Twin Cities. Her grandmother, I'm told, was the first African-American principal in the Minneapolis Public School District. Please welcome again Superintendent Sparks, fourth hour, seventh grade class, honoring Officer Manning. Please welcome up now Mr. Eric Sparks, first hour, class honoring Superintendent Bernadia Johnson. And a big round of applause. We would like to thank Superintendent Bernadia Johnson for coming into our class and sharing your life story with us. From us to you, we'd like to give you this rose and picture and appreciation. My name is Bernadia Heather Luddy Johnson. I was born in November 12, 1959 in Selma, Alabama. Selma is a small town with a big history. I grew up in a place where family was very important. I grew up in a home with my great grandmother and relatives. They were really important. I always loved reading. I played clarinet. I was very shy, very much of an introvert. If you looked at me, I would cry because I didn't want to draw attention to me. Education was important to my family. My mom was a teacher, my grandmother was a principal, so she was a teacher too. My grandmother was the first one in her family to go to high school and college. She has a doctorate degree. She was probably one of the first African American principals in Minneapolis public schools. She is now 99 years old. She, had, she was very influential in my life. I had a great opportunity of growing up in Selma and experiencing the South. I also had an opportunity to live in Minneapolis as a child because my grandmother lived there. I was, I was kind of bicultural because I had a southern cultural and northern culture. Uncle was involved in, in the civil rights movement work. He was one of the courageous aides. There were eight individuals in Selma, Alabama who helped, people, helped register people to vote in, they risked their lives to do that. My, fam my family tried to protect us from the ugliness of what was going on in the city, quite frankly. Selma was very segregated. 
when I got in the fifth grade, they started to integrate schools. That's when my sister and I went to the white school. We, we would sit next to each other in school, do our coursework. But then when school was over, they went to their neighbor, they went to their community, and we went to ours. And we never saw each other outside the school. When I was in college, I worked at McDonald's in North Minneapolis serving people hamburgers and french fries. I was like, it was a great job to have all the money I made, I got to take home. I graduated with honors from college and worked for the f first bank system, which is now U.S. Bank. I started out, started out as a teller, moved up the general ledger accountant in fin financial analysis. When I worked for the bank, we would go to each other's house, go out to eat and have fun. So that was my first experience of truly interacting with someone from another race in a real way. I then entered a program that the Minneapolis Public Schools and St. Paul Public Schools created called the Claire Cole Collaborative Urban Educator Program, which is called Q. I finished my master's degree at St. Thomas. I taught in St. Paul for five years later. I finished my PhD, finished the PhD. I was an assistant principal in both St. Paul and Minneapolis, and then worked in a district level position in Memphis and here in Minneapolis before I came, became superintendent. My favorite part of my job is interacting with students, teachers, and staff. When I have the toughest days of my job, which I have, I usually get my car drive to a kindergarten classroom because they love you under wisdom. Surround yourself with people who are constantly, who are doing the right things and staying strong when to temp temptations happen, because they do. When I would also say read, read, read. You can never read and write enough. Found, find out who you are. Your true, to, your true self, those things that are, are passionate about and do it because it's the right thing to do.
perfected too well. 